Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Vanguard, the War on the Frontline 1410. In the game Vanguard, you're going to be representing the uh, one of the most important wars of all time, the War of 1410, where the Polish fought off the Teutonic Knights. And all of the card's illustrations are going to be from a restored uh, uh, painting of the time period. So uh, it basically is a game where you're playing two or four players, and you are attempting to place down cards in five separate areas. Your opponent is going to go back and forth with you placing them face down and or face up and you're trying to have either the most points in the area or you're going to be utilizing a shield or a lion card in which you're either going to have an instant win or an instant defense in those specific positions. It's a tactical card game that only represents 18 cards in which you're basically going to try to do what your opponents are doing and where they're playing at and you're going to always try to make the game a little different every single time to kind of change up your strategy. The best of three out of five is the winner of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get and then how to play. So here we have the game Vanguard, War on the Frontline 1410 and everything that's going to be included. You're going to get the how to play manual as well as the four player variant booklet that shows you how to play a four player game, which is basically a team game. Then you're also gonna get two sets of cards. One is for the white team and one is for the black team. And you're gonna get five tokens that are gonna represent victory in the game. Go ahead and take out the rule book and learn how to play if you want or actually just listen to me. So we're gonna go ahead and move the box and the rule book side and then you're going to get to see the cards that are included so you're going to have numbers from zero to one two three four five six and then i believe it's seven and then eight these are going to represent the strength of the cards uh, specifically these ones their strength is only valuable in a tie but otherwise this card always wins and this card always blocks and in the case these fight each other this card is going to block so here's how the game works every single every player each player is going to basically be getting their separate cards and it's going to be a hidden game so you're not going to get to see what your opponent's got in their hand until a certain point throughout the game so I'll just go ahead and set these just like this and put them in your hand you can even move them around if you want to to make sure your opponent doesn't know where you're placing them uh, and then you're going to go ahead and play so these are going to be hidden basically right uh, the first thing you're going to do is place a card face down you can choose any one you want and your opponent won't know as well uh, what you're placing down right so it has that hidden strategy and then the next one is going to be face up so somebody's going to place this face down I'll place this one face down, and then we're going to flip them over, and that's going to illustrate that this one is currently this one's currently winning right here on the black side. Then once again, we're going to go ahead and go face down. Maybe I'll put this one. Maybe he'll put this one here, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and do one more, which is going to be another face down and another face down, and then flip them over. And then our final one is going to be face down. So here we go, we'll put these ones here. After that happens, you're gonna to get to show your hands off to your opponents. So you're gonna to get to see that hand, and of course this one as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and hide your hand once again so nobody gets to see them. Then you're gonna go ahead and place them, if you want, face down in the face down areas one at a time. So it's like, okay, do you wanna place face down here? Uh, yes, I do. I'll go ahead and put this one down here. And then he'll go, yes, I do. I'll go ahead and put this one down here. And it's like, oh, you want to put face down here? Well, um, I suppose I will put this one. And then, okay, I'll go ahead and put this one. And then finally, our last position, you could go ahead and choose to not put down. So I won't choose to put down. And he could say, okay, I'll go ahead and put down. Um, once that happens, you're simply going to go ahead and flip over everything. And then you're going to count up the points. So here we go, flipping them all over. And then we're going to go ahead and count them up. So first of all, we'll start with this one over here. And as you can see, six and four is 10. And this one over here is going to be an instant win. So regardless of how many points are here, as long as the shield's not here, white is going to win. So this will get removed. Move on to the next one. Black is still the victor here. So we'll go ahead and lose the white here. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to this one. This is an instant win, but it has a block. So he is not going to instantly win here. So it's a, it's a stalemate there. Five will beat the two. And then over here, uh, the five is going to be the four and it had a shield uh, just in case after that you're going to go ahead and look at the cards here that was a draw because it was a shield oh so the one we come over here is going to be a five and a shield and this will be a four and a two now this is six and this is five however the shield makes it so that this is a draw regardless so this would be a draw um, in which case this player is going to have four and this player will have three and the white would get to score a point. Now let's go ahead and say that uh, this, let's say that this was, uh, or actually let's just say that this was uh, over here, right? For some reason. Uh, and this actually 
didn't have a shield either. And this one won. Uh, or this one, yeah, this one won. So this goes away. Just anyway, just getting to a tie. So you see three and three. At that point, you're going to reveal your hand. And you're then going to tally up the amount of numbers in your hand. So this is a one and a one. But the shield is going to be worth seven. And the uh, this lion here is going to be worth eight eight in which case this would be worth a total of eight points compared to my one point here and this player would actually take it instead but in this case the white would win then you would go ahead and take all your cards back that you had and you would shuffle them all up however you want to do it put them back in your hand and begin the round once again pretty simple right then you're going to go ahead and try and win the best three out of five total rounds and whoever is the victorious with the three points is going to be the winner of the game vanguard the war on uh the front line 14 10. all right let's come up and talk about it okay so to start off with the game vanguard is an 18 card card game and what is it well it's a little rock paper scissors it's a lot of strategy and it's a little bluffing all put in in twice right the lion and the shield are going to be your rock paper scissors type things and then all the numbers are going to represent the strategy as to how you want to place them and where you want to place them you're going to know what cards have been utilized and then you're also going to see what's left in their hand after the first pass through has gone by and so you're going to have a little bit of an idea of where they're playing where they're going to play and you're going to determine would i play here or would i play over there it reminds me of holmes versus moriarty in a certain way and that game is really really fun this was just kind of like a little taste of that game right it's just enough it is mainly a two-player game there's a variant which you can play four players two and two and then you're actually not gonna be able to communicate with your teammate which makes it a little more interesting as well but all in all it's basically an 18 card mini game uh so what do I think? Well, the artwork is is okay. However, due to its historical significance, I think that brings it up quite a bit. I, I, I as soon as I started reading about the uh, how how it worked, it said that it's. Um it's an homage of one of the greatest battles in history, Battle of Grunwald, a very pinnacle of the tumultuous, tumultuous Polish Lithuania Teutonic War. The Battle of Grunwald marked the victory of the Polish Lithuanian Alliance, who decisively defeated the Teutonic Knights. And all the artwork is from a restored painting uh, by Jan Matejko's. I hope I said that. Matejko's Battle of the Grunwald. Nevertheless, so the artwork is kind of interesting, right? And it's got all the different. It's it's got parts of the painting throughout the entire. Uh, game, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it's it does exactly what it sets out to do, right? It's a game you just pick up and play. You could play it at a table anywhere. It's something that's just a little piece of, you know, you just, it's it's just a little bit, right? Maybe what they call a filler game. So if you're sitting there at a table at a dinner table, or in between something, or anywhere that's gonna have a little bit of table space. I would normally say you could play these type of games on a, on a plane or train, maybe a train, but uh, you need to have a little bit of table space to put your five cards out. And I do like what it does. I mean, it's fun. I enjoy the tactical nature of it. We decided to play it more than once after playing it. We went again and again and again, and I'm like, oh, I really enjoy the different aspects of the game and how you can turn your tune your cards. And at first I was like, this is a little random, but after I started to see the face-up cards representing how many cards have been played and what types have been played, as well as gl gleaming into your opponent's hand and trying to get into their head as to where they're playing. If you like games like te uh, Texas Hold'em and that kind of stuff, this is going to be something up your alley. If you like a little bit of like mixture of rock, paper, scissors meets strategy, you're going to enjoy this game. And if you like the ancient wars as well as the old painting style, you're going to enjoy this as well. If you don't like little mini games, if you're not interested in a quick slice of life, sli you know, little bit of a filler game, maybe not for you necessarily. But overall, it does exactly what I think it needs to do, and it's a fun little game. If you're interested in checking out Vanguard, War on the Frontline, 1410, you can go ahead and check it out in the description down below. It'll be on Kickstarter for your backing pleasure. All right, guys, that's all I got this time.